What is up YouTube? It's Gun170 and today we have this structure deck from Merrick and I got this on Amazon fairly cheap it was about 30 bucks so it's it I would recommend getting it you know it's if you guys are really into the older generation Yu-Gi-Oh if you guys are into the links that's cool too you know links I feel like links are a lot stronger than pendulums so yeah there you go feel like pendulums you got links all right that's everything in the box our introduction to 5d's I guess whoa what is this battle with the weak compatible dual scanner and gets your cards in the game what no way Includes three special ins edition trading cards inside. Wow! Huh! Tag Force. Doesn't really sound like a Yu Gi Oh thing, but hey, whatever. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know that they had had something like this. You know, it gives me hope for uh, any new kind of products going on in the future. And then we have our. I think. What is this? Oh, our just Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, I guess. I don't know. I had to play with the deck. Our field zone, I really want to see this. Just got Merrick on it. Structure deck Merrick. Normally a little insert to get this thing open, but I guess not. Uh, the reason I haven't been posting as often as I want to is because I've been picking up a lot of people's uh, shifts, considering that they've been sick and whatnot. Whether be true that they were actually sick it's still a mystery to me but hey over time more Yu-Gi-Oh product for you guys more cards for me I'm grateful either way we got lava golem and I think I messed up the car oh no I bent it we have lava golem this card is actually pretty unique so this card cannot be normal or special set or normal set. This card can only be special summoned to your opponent's side of the field by attributing two monsters they control. You cannot normal summon or set this the turn you special summon this card. This monster's control controller takes a thousand damage during each of their standby phases. So that's pretty much sweet. You can get rid of two of their strongest guys for this guy and they take a thousand every end of their turn but he can still attack you and everything so careful with that uh, mystical beast of Seret destroy this card if you do not control temple of the kings each time this card destroys a monster by battle the destroyed monsters removed from play and this card gains 500 attack so it's already pretty strong and I actually had a buddy looking for this card and I mean this card is pretty much just limitless it's not it gains it for it gains 500 attack per damage or damage step it is every time it destroys a card so this card is already at 2500 evenly matched for any of the main protagonist cards but just the fact that you know it keeps increasing can make this card very dangerous. But if you don't have Temple of the Kings, it is literally nothing. And speak of the devil, Temple of the Kings, the controller of this card can activate traps the same turn they are set. If you control Mystic Beast of Circuit and this card, you can send both to the graveyard to special summon one monster. From your hand deck or extra deck. Wow, so that 
That's a pretty amazing combo. I mean, you have to get both of them out on the field. But to be able to do that, that's pretty sweet. And I can see, I, I don't know why a lot of people don't have this in their deck. Because it's just, it's, it's pretty much to draw any kind of card you need for emergencies. Alright, uh, Galgrath. Pretty sweet card. I run this guy in uh, Duel Links. He's got 1,800 attack and 1,200 defense. Mystic Tomato, which is weird. He's a he's a pumpkin, but well, I, I guess he could be a yeah tomato. Yeah. Uh, plant type. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one dark monster with 1,500 attack from your deck and face up attack position. Uh, Visor Des. I don't know why a lot of people don't like this card, because I feel like this card could be a pretty strong card, put it in defense mode. Um, when this card is normal summon, select one monster your opponent controls, destroy that monster during your third standby phase after the summon. This card cannot be destroyed by battle until this effect is resolved. So, you can if you have no other cards in your Field, this guy would be great for a defense. Legendary Fiend. During each of your standby phases, this card gains 700 attacks. So, even like another great card that you know is just limitless. Dark Geroid. Uh, when this monster, when this card is summoned, select one faced up monster on the field. It loses 800 attack. And I think, yeah, there's a little bit of roughing out. Uh, Nudroya. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, select one monster on the field and destroy it. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Gravekeeper's Spy. I remember the Gravekeepers. These cards were somewhat alright. I, I, I don't remember them too much from my childhood, but I remember the pictures. Uh, flip Effect. Special Summon 1 Gravekeeper Monster with 1,500 or less attack from your deck. Another Gravekeeper Spy. Gravekeeper's Curse. When this card is summoned, select or er, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Oops. Gravekeeper's Guard. Select one monster your opponent controls and turn it to the hand. Oh, that's just another guard. Uh, Gravekeeper's Spear Soldier. During battle between the attacking card and a defense position monster with defense, so inflict piercing damage. Yep. Gravekeeper Chief. You can only control one Gravekeeper Chief card in your graveyard. Cards in your graveyard are unaffected by Necro Valley. When this card is tribute summoned, you can select one grave Gravekeeper's monster from your graveyard and special summon it. Alright. Gravekeeper's Cannon Holder. You can tribute one Gravekeeper's monster except Cannon Holder to inflict 700 damage to your opponent. And I don't think... Yeah, I don't think that could be... Could this be stacked? No, I don't think so. Uh, Gravekeeper's Assailant. If Necro Valley so on the field, when this card declares an attack, you can select one faced up monster your opponent controls and change its battle position. Sweet! That's actually pretty useful. Uh, Drillo, Drill Age. This is pretty weird, I've never seen this card. If you. If the only card your opponent controls are faced up monsters with 1,600 or more attack, this monster can attack your opponent directly. Sweet! 
Wow, and that's not a, a light one. There's there's a lot of monsters that can attack directly, but they only have like 500 attack. This guy has 1,600. Uh, Bow again. My brother plays this card. He actually beat me with in one game with just this card's effect because I could not draw a card to destroy it. So during each of your standby phases inflict 600 damage to your opponent. Gravekeeper's Commandant. You can discard this card to the graveyard and add one Necro Valley from your deck to your hand. So that's pretty sweet. Gravekeeper's Visionary. This guy has some sick artwork. Alright, you can normal summon this card by tributing one Gravekeeper. This monster gains 200 attack for each Gravekeeper in your graveyard. If this faced up mo card on the field would be destroyed, you can discard one Gravekeeper's monsters instead. Now, the thing is with this deck, I don't remember any of these Gravekeepers. I remember that Merrick and his family were, were uh, the Gravekeepers, but I don't remember him having any of these cards in his deck. Uh, Descendant. You contribute one faced up Gravekeeper monster you control, except this card to destroy one card your opponent controls. Mystical Space Typhoon. Ooh, Nightmare Steel Cage. Uh, this card remains faced up on the field for two of your opponent's turns. No monsters can attack. Destroy this card during your opponent's second stint, second end phase after this card was activated. Creature Swap. Uh, each player control chooses one monster they control and switches control of that monster with each other. Those monsters cannot change their battle positions for the rest of this turn. Book of Moons. Dark Room of Nightmare. That's This is actually a... Uh, I think this is the uncensored one. I can't remember if it's ever censored. But, uh... As you can tell, you know, he's getting whipped and there's small blotches right there that, you know, infer he's getting whipped pretty good. Each time your opponent takes damage from a card effect, except Dark Room of Nightmares, inflict 300 damage to your opponent. Necro Valley. All Gravekeeper monsters gain 500 attack and defense. Cards in either player's graveyard cannot be removed from play. Cards in either... Either player's graveyards cannot be affected by card effects except for their own. And wow, we have two Necro Valleys. I guess that kind of makes sense since every card in this set relies on Necro Valley. Foolish Burial, uh, Magical Stone, ex Excavation, Allure of Darkness. Draw two cards, then remove from play one dark monster from your hand. If you do not have a dark monster in your hand to remove, send all your cards in your hand to the graveyard. Acid Trap Hole. Oops. Acid Trap Hole. Uh, select one face down defense position monster and flip it face up. If the monster's defense is less than 2,000, is 2000 or less, destroy it. If the monster defense is more than 2,000 flip the monster to face down position alright alright not too bad mirror force sweet activate only when your opponent's monster declares attack destroy all attack position monsters skull innovation each time a card is sent to the graveyard inflict 300 damage to your opponent to its owner for each card sent this is a um, kind of double, double-edged blade, I guess. Hurts you and your opponent. Coffin seller. Each time a monster's card is sent to the, sent to your opponent's graveyard, inflict 300 damage to your opponent. Each time a monster's card is okay. Yeah. Oh, nightmare wheel. Oh man. If you guys ever fought Merrick in, in Duel Links, you know that he uses this card way too much. 
Select one monster your opponent controls. It cannot attack or change its battle position when it is removed from the field. Destroy this card during each of your standby phases. Your opponent takes 500 damage. Metal, metal reflects slime. After activation, actually let's just look at this because I, I don't think I showed you guys. This is the one where he used for to copy Obelisk, if you guys remember in the show. After after activation, special summon this card in defense position. It is treated as an effect monster. Aqua type water, level 10, attack 0, 3000 defense. This card cannot attack. This card is still treated as a trap. Oh, okay. I thought it was one of those special exemptions where it was a monster and not a trap. And yeah. Uh, catastrophe. It looks like it actually is too. Uh, activate only when your opponent's monster declares an attack. Destroy all spells and traps on the field. Wow, so this you could stack with uh, Mirror Force. That'd be pretty sweet. Get rid of any anything else on the field. Dark Illusion. Negate the activation of spells traps or affect monsters that target a feast of dark monster and destroy that card sweet <sighs> all right guys that is it i wonder why it's always the hollows that that uh just are a little different a little off from all the other cards and i wonder why that is i don't know but uh it is what it is you guys just to recap temple of the kings mystical beast of circuit and lava golem all right guys that is it for this video if you did happen to like this like i said it was on amazon it was pretty cheap i got it for like around 30 30 bucks and it is in first edition so i'm pretty sure some of these cards will fetch you at a pretty nice price i definitely recommend it great deck you know just even if you are freshly starting out I do recommend getting this deck. It's a part of history and it's again Merrick. Merrick is pretty sweet when it's got the Wing Dragon Raw. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please remember to leave a like and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And with that being said, uh, have a good one guys.